key messages from our presentation this morning really related to the contemporary threats uh, facing those responsible for protecting the biggest events internationally. So threats ranging from terrorism to cyber security threats, fan violence, all the way through to geopolitical issues need to be a concern for those responsible for planning, policing and security for the world's biggest sporting events. We also touched on uh, the key challenges and uh, really opportunities and trends related to major event policing and security. So from a challenges perspective, we spoke about uh, the importance to ensure cost-effective security delivery. That, that is often a disincentive for countries and cities to host these major events. So being able to share information about what is proportionate security for a major event amongst uh, the range of stakeholders involved is actually absolutely crucial. We also spoke about the need to ensure that these events remain sporting events and not security events. Security is not the driver, it really supports the effort uh, from, a, from a, 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 an event experience perspective and to ensure that everyone involved in these big events from athletes through to the spectators at the venue and at home have a safe and secure and, and pleasant experience when they're involved in the event. And then the third major challenge is really around integration and getting the, the key stakeholders involved in delivering these big events, be it the private sector, the event owners, uh, to the local organising committees and the public and safety and security authorities to work together effectively to deliver the big events. The real opportunities to deliver resilient, safe and secure big events are, uh, are really around uh, technology, uh, ensuring effective deployment of technology uh, across a range of areas, particularly related to cyber security that is a key emerging threat. Also looking at uh, the people who we trust to protect our major event, particularly the private security sector. Um, th there's been challenges since South Africa 20, 20, 2010, the World Cup uh, in, in South Africa, to deploy, effectively deploy private security workforce to protect our big events. So that's a real opportunity, I think, to enhance delivery of safety and security into the future. And the third, third area is really around processes and uh, how we can ensure effective risk management, integrating all the stakeholders involved in delivering policing and security for big events. Um, also looking at how our processes prepare our, our policing and security authorities to deliver uh, a safe and secure event through testing and exercising and preparing effectively to, to deliver uh, safety and security. So the technologies that we're seeing integrated into major event infrastructure to deal with things like the insider threat include uh, biometrics technologies, so uh, a wide proliferation these days of uh, fingerprint identification used for not only access to venues but also for background checking of, of key individuals involved in delivering uh, policing and security for, for these big events. Uh, also looking at uh, facial recognition technology, um, it, there's been some very interesting uh, uh, trials, I guess, of facial recognition technology in recent times and the algorithms and the technology used for, for uh, facial recognition have really evolved a lot in, in recent years and there's some, I, I think, potentially some, some very valuable uh, deployments of that sort of technology for future major event hosts. At Project Stadia, we, we are uh, building a centre of excellence related to major event policing and security. Uh, it's a 10-year project in partnership with Qatar. We're at about the halfway point, we run till 2022. And we have two main objectives. The first one being uh, supporting Qatar in their preparations for the World Cup in 20, Football World Cup in 2022, while also supporting all other Interpol member countries, 192 Interpol member countries involved in delivering policing and security for the world's biggest events. So uh, we have a range of activities from expert groups to training activities uh, to partnerships and uh, strategic relationships that we have developed to gather good practices, knowledge and experience and share that with the Interpol network and particularly Qatar as they prepare for the World Cup in 2022. We're sharing all that information through our online stadium knowledge management system which we actually launched two weeks ago uh, at our conference in, in Doha and that will be the online platform, secure platform for the world's law enforcement community and other stakeholders involved in delivering major event policing and security to tap into the, the good practices that we are gathering as Project Stadia but also to tap into a, a, an international network of expertise related to major event policing and security.